So you just spent quite a bit of time in producing and creating your next big single, but you don't know how to promote it, you don't know how to market it, and you do not know what kind of content to drop around it to help push it. Tune in as I drop three tips on how to properly market your song so more people will be engaged. What up, it's G-Tech. My name is G-Tech and I'm a hip hop artist helping other hip hop artists and market and grow their brand. I'm not a professional marketer, I'm just learning everything on my own while applying the knowledge that I've learned into my own music and my brand. So if you enjoy the free content, feel free to like and subscribe. Tip number one, involve your fans and your audience. One of the best ways of building an audience is building a community. So a community that you're working together, you're involving them as much as you can throughout your journey. So it's like if you win, then we win. That is the type of positive attitude that you want to grow um, along with your fans and involving them every step of the process makes a huge difference. And also set a goal for your song such as um, help me gain a hundred streams in the first week. So by setting this goal, you're also setting a timeline. So this, this kind of encourages pressure, it encourages urgency of you trying to attain this goal and more people will be willing to help you with this goal because it's something that you're involving them with. It's a, it's a goal that you are working together and it's not a goal that they're working for you. So if you have a reasonable and a decent audience and fan base, they will help you with this goal. And if you do successfully and manage to accomplish the goal, you can proudly say that we achieved this goal instead of I achieved this goal. So they feel more involved and it sounds less selfish because it's something that you guys work together. And I know how difficult it is to ask for favors because for me, I, I struggle with that as well. Like I don't like asking people to, to help me with something or asking for a favor. So this kind of like strays away from that and it looks more like you are doing something together and you're accomplishing something as a community. Tip number two, find a theme for your song. Now this might take some time in sitting and really thinking about it uh, to think of a theme for your song, but as soon as you establish a theme, the content for it will flow like water. So for example, I have a new song that's out right now, it's called Ametera Caravana, and the basis and the theme of the song is like summer vibes, you're partying with your friends, you're bumping it in the car with your windows down, and you're just enjoying uh, a good vibe with with the people that are close to you. The key words to the theme and that correlates with this song would be partying, friends, car, car vibes, summer. So now you can start building content around those themes. So you can start taking pictures of yourself with your friends, of you partying, um, you're bumping the song in your car, you're showing and you're marketing that this is the type of song and theme that it is attached to. So that is my marketing angle for the song. Developing a theme and developing these keywords is essential when you're pitching it to playlisters and blogs because when you're pitching your song, you need to utilize these keywords and you won't know what keywords to use unless you have a theme for your song. Additionally, without knowing the theme of your song, you won't also know, you won't know the target audience. So for this, the target audience would be people who enjoy having a good time and who enjoy partying and enjoying uh, time with their friends. Tip number three, build a story around your song. A good story that supports the song is a great way to connect with people who relate to the story that you're trying to tell. So if you share a story that is relatable, then people who can relate to the story will be more willing to listen to your song. There are 60,000 songs that get uploaded on Spotify every single day, so you need to stand out. Treat your music like a product like a business and you are trying to pitch and sell this product. A lot of successful businesses are doing well because they might share a, a story of their struggle and how they've built the company from the ground up. And that is a story that a lot of people enjoy listening to and they empathize and they can relate to it. So they will buy 
the product based on uh, that story. So you really need to dig deep and figure out the story behind your song. You don't necessarily have to create the song before. You can create the song after because sometimes you get the story. Um, you don't come up with a story until you actually listen to the final product and you start getting ideas. For me, I've created most of my stories. The stories that I've pitched and marketed were after the song was done. Sometimes you have to listen to the song a few times and listen to it within a different perspective and then you start getting ideas based on the times you've listened to the song. So as you're listening, you can think, what does a song mean to you? What does it remind you of? Maybe it reminds you of a sentimental memory, um, a memory you're fond of when you grew up. As these ideas and, and feelings bring sentimental value, that is what you wanna sell. That is a story that you want to market. Those are just quick, easy three tips on how to market your song. Again, all these tips that I've shared, I've started to use recently and I have found a bit of result because before I used to just drop and release music blindly and just hope that people will listen to it. But as soon as I, as soon as I approached my my, my music in a different marketing approach, I notice different results. So if you pre-plan this marketing, these marketing strategies for your next releases, you will see different results. It honestly overcomes you just simply saying my music, I have a new song releasing tomorrow and you're just promoting the same old graphic over and over again. Again, maybe your music is, is really, really good and you don't have to market it this way. It works differently for everybody. So if you found this helpful, if you found this content uh, useful to you, uh, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one and I'm out.